Good morning, everybody. Blaine Austin here at Sewing Machines Plus. Hey, and welcome to our live show here on Thursday. And guys, we hope you're having a great morning so far and a great afternoon. I know it's uh, noon time in Central Time Zone and Eastern Time Zone. It's 1 p.m., so you already started your day. But we're 10 a.m. out here on the West Coast, and uh, we're so happy you're joining us this morning. Guys, we got a great show for you today. We're going to talk all about two machines from Baby Lock that we just released online. One of them is the Baby Lock Sasha Co. And y'all probably have never heard of this machine, uh, but guys, it is such a unique machine. And we're going to tell you all about it. We got Deb Donovan, uh, our very own Deb, is here today. She's going to be in the San Marcos classroom today. And Roger is over there uh, going to be doing the running the cameras. And we're going to demonstrate that machine. And then also we're going to be talking about the Baby Lock Accord. And that's another machine that we just, it's been around for a little while, but we just released it where we can sell it online. And guys, this is a great machine as well. And Deb's going to do that too. So, but I mean, really super excited about this Sasha Co. You're going to love this machine. And, and if y'all have ever seen some of these really high-end men's clothing, uh, they use Sasha Co. stitching on it. And that's what that Sasha Co. means. It's a stitching and it's a skip stitch. And it gives you a really unique look on clothing and quilts. And so we're going to talk all about that this morning and show you how you can do you know, you can uh, change the width of the stitching and the, the spacing on that and uh, create some really unique looks. So we're going to have that this morning. But starting out this morning, I've got to say a big hello to, uh, we've got Kicking It Kennedy here in the studio. Hello. And I don't think we've got a camera on her this morning. And then we got uh, Big Daddy Kyle's hello. in here this morning. And, morning. and, uh, and then, uh, like I said, Roger's over there with Deb in the, the San Marcos classroom. But Hey, before we get too deep into this this morning, I got to say some shout outs out there. We got Ginger Israel, my buddy here in San Diego, is watching this morning. We got Karen Butler, she's uh, watching way up in Michigan. And uh, we have Tammy Thacker uh, over in Kentucky watching. Lori uh, Otterman is in Wisconsin. We have Annette Parsons down in Florida watching. Kippy Halpin in Texas. Hey, that's my sister, Kippy. So, hey, Kippy, glad you're watching today. We have uh, Charlene Williams in Alabama watching, and we have You Know Me from New York watching. And guys, You Know Me came out here this past week, and uh, she accepted one of my challenges. Remember I tell you I fly you and a friend out here for free to buy one of our top-of-the-line machines? Well, guess what? You Know Me and her husband came out here, and uh, I went down and met. There's a picture of me and her by her brand-new SWF. Uh, 12 needle machine and we got to spend a little time with her and she is just a pleasure and uh, just such a nice lady and and her husband is super nice there he is right there and we had a good time hanging out and Deb uh, stayed down there with the majority of the day and gave them some training and there they are yeah, that's a great picture <laughs> yeah. they're in our classroom down in the San Diego store and and uh, right there with their 12 needles so she was pretty excited and and uh, they came out and stayed uh pretty good wow i think they came still here. they're, they're still, still here, here. Yeah. yeah yes they're still here they're i think she's leaving friday so they were wanting to take in some of the sites in san diego and and do a little sightseeing and and while they're here so i thought that was great but uh so anyway i'm, I'm thank you for coming to san diego you know me and and uh it was a pleasure meeting you and we had a great time so but guys before we get into the demo gotta remind you 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 always have to keep a piece of paper and a pencil around with me right because I'm always giving you dates. Uh, Got to remind you, SoFest is coming up. And hey, guys, isn't it, what, two weeks away? Yeah. Two yeah. weeks. Almost three, maybe? No, yeah. I think it's two no, weeks. No, we've got it? soon. It's, it's coming. Fast. So it's September the 12th through the 16th. And we have got a, just an incredible event put together for you. We have some of the, you know, I always say this. I, I guess I say this every single show we do. we got the best educators in the country. But we actually we do. We do. We have to be honest. It's uh, we just have so many good educators uh, that are going to be on the show and uh, they are, uh, you know, going to be doing demonstrations on all the current machines that we're going to have on the show. Plus the little added bonus that we do each day. We have two educational sessions uh, during the event. There are going to be two 30 minute sessions that are strictly on teaching techniques. And so we went out and tried to find some of the best teachers we could find to do that. And we have got some great great teachers that are going to be on the show uh, teaching you some techniques and tips and, and giving you all kinds of uh, tricks. And so it's going to be really good. So that'll be uh, as well on there. 
And then we have our Scan and Cut University. Guys, if y'all have not signed up for the, the university, if you anything about Scan and Cut you want to know, it's going to be on the show. And I know that we're restricted to a certain type of Scan and Cut. It has to be the SDX front numbers on it to be able to use it, all the techniques that they're going to do in the projects. Uh, and if you don't own a Scan and Cut and you're interested in signing up, you actually, if you buy your Scan and Cut at the same time you're signing up for the class, <clears throat> excuse me, you get a discount of for the event, <clears throat> excuse me, for $100, $100 off if they do that. So it is a really good time. If you're wanting to get a Scan and Cut, this would be a great time to, to do both. And uh, we have Julie Fee Fan Balls are going to be on there, Cindy Hogan and Heather Banks. And to me, my opinion, they're the top three in the world on Scan and Cut. And uh, so we're, it's going to be a three-day event. It's going to be uh, live streamed right to your house so you can take the class, as Kennedy always says, in your pajamas. Yeah. And uh, so <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, we want you all, if you're interested in that, go sign up. Uh, you can go to uh, our website, sewmachinesplus.com. At the very top, it says events and classes. Just click on that tab and it'll take you to a page and you'll see the thumbnail of the Scan and Cut. You can click there and go sign up right there. So pretty easy. Uh, and then... We got two new shows we got to give you all the dates for. Cyber Monday. Guys, we've already started working on Cyber Monday. It's going to be November the 28th, that Monday after Thanksgiving. So don't forget about, you know, it's going to be Black Friday, then Cyber Monday. And Cyber Monday, we've got, I mean, basically all of our Black Friday specials, everything, including our Cyber Monday specials. We're going to have a live show. Uh, it is crammed packed when I say it, isn't it, Kyle? Mm-hmm. We have 30 demonstrations packed in to seven and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> so it's basically every 15, every 15 minutes. minutes, you're going to get to see somebody new, a different machine, and it's going to be fast paced. You're not going to believe how fast paced this is. So I always tell everybody, you know, buckle your seat belts, uh, you know, get your popcorn, get your Coke, uh, and we're going to give you one restroom break. <laughs> so, one. <laughs> yeah, one. And, uh, Cause I gotta have one, right? Yeah. So, yeah. and I'm hosting this all by myself. So I'm gonna be with you the whole time on Cyber Monday, and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So we'll have that. Uh, you don't want to miss that. And then guess what? Santa's coming to town. Santa Blaine. Santa Blaine's coming to town. It's Where gonna be Blaine? countdown to Christmas show. It's gonna be December the 12th through the 16th, and I'm gonna be streaming live for seven hours, seven and a half hours a day for five days. And we have already started working on that show. And uh, we got some special surprises this year for mm -hmm. Countdown to Christmas. So you don't want to miss it. Okay. It's going to be pretty cool. Maybe some glitter. Never know. It may be, you know, little flashy. You little just flashy. never know what's going on here. Eccentric. But that's the word. There we go. And we're going to have some really good pricing on things as well. So, again, when you get ready to start thinking about Christmas presents and things, Hey, don't buy and your Christmas presents until countdown to Christmas. Wait for Santa Blaine or Cyber Monday. Deals. Yeah, Cyber Monday. Either one of those Cyber would Monday, be good. Yeah, that's a good one. When everybody start planning their Christmas stuff. So, but anyway, guys, that's some dates we got down. So make sure you make a note of those, and and uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun. But guys, today I am super excited about the Sashiko machine. We're gonna show that one first, Kennedy. And you know, people don't really know about this machine. You know, so Sashiko stitching is a very unique stitch. So Baby Lock just basically named their machine the Sashiko. And oh because God. of the stitching, this is a very unique machine that uh, I tell you, and people that I, that use this that have seen quilt, have you, you know, they use quilting. It makes quilts so unique. Um, and I tell you, it almost looks like this ancient, like maybe Oriental type, yeah. you know, hand stitching. It, it, that they do so it's it's really unique and uh, i think y'all gonna really enjoy this but hey let's go to the uh the san marcos classroom and bring deb donovan to the show so good morning deb i think you're muted <laughs> still don't hear you all How's right that, lane yeah now we got you all right the so, red button was on, but I was on mute. <laughs> all right. So, you know, Deb, I've been talking a little bit about this machine this morning. And, you know, I think this is the, the hidden gem, I like to call it, because, you know, we've been able to sell this in the retail stores for a while. 
but it's kind of one of those machines. It's such a unique, specialized machines. A lot of people don't even know about it, even when they've walked in our stores. But now, you know, there's a lot of people that don't get a chance to go to the stores. And especially if they're not, you know, they're stored and close to them is not a baby lock dealer. They probably have never heard of this machine. Mm -hmm. And they may not have heard of this stitching. So what I was wanting to do, while before you get into your demos, everybody out there, if you've heard of the <laughs> Sashiko stitch, just the Sashiko stitch, put a number one in the chat right now if you've heard of it. And if you've never heard of it before, put a two in the chat. And this is your first time hearing about it. And I'm just anxious to see how many people's actually heard of this and hasn't heard of it. But uh, Deb, I'm, I'm super excited about this machine. And I know you love this machine as well. So I'm going to let you go ahead and get going on your demo. And Roger, if you can today, when she starts doing some of these samples of stitches, if we could get a really good zoom in uh, of it with the camera, there's Roger giving us a <laughs> thumb up. Because <laughs> um, I want everybody to see this unique stitching and how great it looks. So Deb, take it away. All right. Will do. Um, like Blaine said, a Sashiko stitch is, I mean, it, it originated back with Japanese stitching, but it also looks, if you change like the stitch length, it looks a lot like hand quilting. It looks like big stitch quilting um, or um, Kantha quilts are actually have that same kind of big stitching on them. I love doing straight line or mild curve lines on my quilts, but I don't always want a solid stretch of thread running down there and so the sashiko machine is going to give me the ability to get that skip stitch like i was doing a running stitch without actually having to do the running stitch because my hands are done with doing running stitches so i don't know if roger if you can zoom in a little bit right here so this is a quilt that i did a couple of years ago and it's you can see on the top of it you actually have that skipping stitch i've got a stitch and then there is nothing there. There's no monofilament. There's no triple stitch here, single stitch here. I have a stitch and then no stitch and a stitch and then no stitch all the way along the quilt. And this is a pretty big lap size quilt. And I was able to do it in a weekend because I was able to use my sewing machine to do it, my Sashiko machine, instead of having to do it by hand where the time would have been probably measured in years instead of days for me to get that quilt done. I do have a funny story about this one. This um, this was one of those like block exchange type things. And so that I won the blocks for and I didn't have binding. So I went into the local quilt store to find binding. And the lady at the cutting counter complimented me on my excellent big stitch quilting and wanted to know how long it took me to get this done. So I did fess up. I told her that I had done it in a weekend and I had done it on a baby lock Sashiko machine. Um, but she couldn't tell the difference and she cuts fabric all day long. So let me set that to the side. Traditional Sashiko stitching. Is, so is going to, Roger, can you see that? It's gonna look something like this. I think I'm holding it sideways. Um, I did use pink because I wanted to, I was trying to get a different kind of contrast with it. Plus I and I used a thicker thread. I used a 30 weight thread, but traditional sashiko stitching, this is one of the many, many traditional patterns that are out there for it. And I've always loved it, but I never took the time to sit down and do it. So you can also take your quilting stencils and have it, oops, and do stencils as well. So you can do straight lines, you can do curved lines, you can take your stencil and mark it on there. I know this one's a little bit harder to see, the, red, the pink doesn't stand out quite so much on the, the tan background. But this is a stencil that, let me tell you, it's so old, I paid $2.19 for this stencil and I probably never used it. Um, but I really like the way that it gives me the look here. I've got that hand look stitching, I didn't have to free motion, I didn't have to and I get to have that skip stitch without a solid line of fabric or solid line of thread going along there. So, and then the other thing, I haven't finished it yet. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do. Um, so I just kind of basted the edge up. This is just a, this is a kitchen towel or it will be when I'm finished with it that I did clamshells on with the Sashiko, marked it with just a friction pen so that I got my lines. I went and marked my half circles, stitched mostly along the lines. And then I, when I pressed it, the friction pen went away. So now all you can see are the clamshells on there. So 
So I've discovered that I really need, I personally like more contrast on the tan than what I've got going on here. So I'm gonna figure something out. You can use different kinds of threads in the Sasha Co. Um, you're not gonna be able to use your decorative metallic type threads in the Sasha Co for a reason I'll explain to you in a minute. But you can use anything from a thicker 30 weight thread all the way down to a skinny 100 weight thread. So you can get the look that you're looking for. A 30 weight is going to give you more of that hand flossed type look, the big stitching. A 100 weight is going to be super fine and those stitches are going to sink right down into it and give you that look of a really traditional old fashioned hand quilting. And then, you know, you can use anything in between. The towel that I just showed you was regular 50 weight sewing thread that I had in my house. So let me show you the machine real quick here. There is no screen on this machine. It is pretty much a purely mechanical machine. What I have, let me just put this up for a second, is two levers over here to the right. This is gonna control how long my stitch is. This is gonna control how long my space is. So I can make them, each of them from two millimeters to five millimeters. I have three lights and a button right here. This is my control panel. It tells me with three flashing, three lights, one of them's flashing right now, uh, exactly what the machine's expecting to have happen next. I have a presser foot pressure button on the top and I have a float button over to the side. And that's it. That's all I have on the top of the machine. There, I really don't have to learn anything except for how to read these three lights when they tell me. And that's really not even that hard because this comes with a beautiful threading and quick reference guide. Um, it looks like the same ones that we get with the baby lock sergers because this is a machine that comes out of the same factory as the baby lock sergers, which means that it's got all of the inherent quality and reliability that I expect from a baby lock serger in this Sashiko machine, even though it is, it is unique. There is nothing else on the market that does what this machine can do for me. So um, there is, let's see, I've got, I've already got it threaded down here at the bottom. I have my thread up top, which I'm actually going to take off because I don't need upper thread for this machine. Everything comes out of the bobbin. You do not have to thread a needle. You do not have upper thread. It is pretty much just like bobbin work. So off I go to the side right there. Now I am ready to go. The reason the light is flashing is because I have the presser foot up. So it's not, it doesn't want to stitch yet. As soon as I put the foot down, I've got a solid light and I'm ready to stitch. Oops, I've got two pieces here. All right, so Roger, if you can zoom in right here. This is just a little sample of the variation uh, that I can get in the stitches. The one on the far left is three millimeters and three millimeters, three millimeter stitch, three millimeter gap. I have a five millimeter stitch and a five millimeter gap, a three, two millimeter stitch and two millimeter gap. And here I made them uneven on this one. The stitch is longer than the space and on this one the space is longer than the stitch so you can tweak your settings to get the look that you're looking for between the thread and the stitch lengths you can actually get quite a few different types of looks with it i am using a 30 weight hot pink thread in here because i was trying to make something that would be the easiest for you to see and i'm gonna if you want to stay back for just a second roger while i start to stitch and then you can come in closer I just put the needle down into the fabric. So I went from having a blue light showing me that was needle up to a green light showing me that I have my needle down, that it's gonna stop and needle down. And as I go, this is a machine that I really don't like to run super fast. It's not the fastest machine in the world, but I really kind of get into my Zen when it's going along. And I, that is just the thread caught in the thread cutter back there. So it just goes along like that. And I know you guys didn't get to see the coolest part. So let me cut this on the thread cutter on the side. There's the stitching that I just did. I will tell you, you do get a solid line of stitching on the back. So it's not magical enough to give me a complete running stitch, but it really does give me a true skip stitch on the top. 
Roger, do you think you can zoom into the needle? Yeah. Okay. Let me get a little bit closer. Let's see how, how far I can get there. Let me know when you're ready. That looks, that looks good. Okay. So first things first, on the left side of the presser foot, I have this little black button here. If you've seen us do any kind of videos on the brother or the baby lock sewing machines, you should probably recognize that that little black button is going to give me um, a, a presser foot float function where I can, if I'm going over a big lump, I can use it to level the presser foot out so I don't have to climb the hill with my presser foot. Then what I've got going on right here is called a latch wire. This right here is my needle right here. Now this is a very special needle. It has a latch in it that works with the latch wire to thread and unthread the needle with every single stitch this machine takes. So now I'm going, you're going to watch it. I'm going to go, hold on, let me go. I'm going to go very slow. So it's threaded, unthreaded, threaded, unthreaded, threaded, unthreaded. And this is what it does every single stitch that it takes. There's that latch wire works with the latch that's on the needle to thread and unthread the needle with every single stitch. I've got it set to stop up. Let me put it, the needle down. That's really cool. You can Isn't see that, that arm cord out to the side. I love it. And I can also, let me just go and kind of hit the extremes with the longest length and the shortest Do you skip. want to show that panel on the side? As oh, far sure. As adjustability? I'm going to press your foot up. So let's pan over and see. Did that work? There you go. Got it. So these two levers are where I control the length of the stitch and the length of the gap that I'm going to be having. I can go from two millimeters to five millimeters for either one of them. My personal favorite setting is about three and three, but your personal favorite setting could vary. Depends on what you like to do the best. And so that's what I was stitching out right there. I can actually make them uneven too. I'm going to do a five millimeter stitch length and a two millimeter stitch skip, put the presser foot back down. And now it's going to give me a much not, it's not going to give me a, a hundred percent different stitch, but the spacing looks different. And so that's going to give me maybe more of that, uh, a hand look, let me needle up. Needle up, please. There we go. Sashikos can be opinionated every now and again. So you can see that it's very even up at the top and down at the bottom, I, bottom, I have a longer stitch with a shorter gap on it. You got that? All right. <clears throat> now you get to see something that I really hadn't planned on showing you. The button's flashing because the foot is up, but I snagged the thread on the feed dogs as I was pulling that out. If I press and hold this button, and now I have a green light down here where the bobbin is. On the side, I open up and I pull my bobbin case out of there. It has this kind of a special looking bobbin case. It's got uh, two little ears, if you will, down here, and it's got a little mohawk up on the top of it. Because of the way the needle has to thread and unthread and everything else has to work, it's you have to, it's got a unique kind of bobbin. Deb, let's hold that up to the camera. It was focusing on the machine, um, and we were kind of out of focus with the bobbin. So let's, there you go. All right, so I've got bunny ears down at the bottom and a mohawk up at the top on this. It's a regular side load bobbin, front load bobbin until you get to those two pieces. To put the bobbin in though, what I'm gonna do is take the thread and hold on. Clean edges are mandatory. And poke it through both of those holes I need to do this right-handed. All 
I love this 30 weight thread, but it tends to untwist itself a little bit more than some of the other ones do. So let me go. Goodness sakes. It's a good thing I'm not going to get a driver's test today. Okay. Okay, there we go. Got it. So I have threaded my thread through the two little holes that are on the bunny ears. Get a nice long tail, longer than I would ever use on another machine. Put the bobbin case in. Set it into place. I'm going to, you'll kind of see something happening right here, Roger. Like in this area right here. So I'm going to hand turn the wheel and it's going to do nothing. And then it's going to grab the thread from me and pull it up there. I'm going to clear the thread from under there. And then now I'm going to have the arm come out to the side. I need to keep tension on it because there you go. I need to keep tension on it because this is where a lot of the magic happens with making that sashiko stitch is keeping tension on this lever. So that's why I have a really long tail so that I can keep tension on there. From there, I close it, keep tension on it, slide it to the back and cut it in the cutter. And that is all you got to do to thread it. It's really not complicated at all. It's one of those things that it's hard the first time and it's hard the second time. And then you can do a blindfolded. Now for the true big stitch quilting, I am going to make five and five. So this is going to give me the biggest stitching. So it's big stitch quilting or kind of cantha quilting there with the really big, big, big stitches. Pull it to the side and cut it. And so there is the very big stitching with the five millimeter stitch with the five millimeter gap on it that's going to give you that big stitch or the, the cantha quilting look. What kind of stitching you do just kind of depends on what you're going to want to do with it, what you like best. I am working on a stabilized layer of linen right now. This machine really shines when you get it into quilting mode. The linen was just a little bit light on its own to be able to handle the push and pull that happens with the Sashiko stitches. You can have a little bit of fun with those stitches too. Right here on the your right, I have done what's called a flip stitch with a piece of yarn. So I've used that yarn kind of like cording underneath the foot, but how the foot goes, it kind of dances. It shifts to the left and the right as it gets pulled underneath the stitch. This one to the left is almost braided. It's a, it's a piece that I was solid up that I bent, uh, folded in half at the top. And then I was switching it back and forth underneath the needle as I went. Now, I told you before that I have a float function over here. So the way to do that is I, uh, put out the float function. it's this knob right here. Okay. Zero means the foot is all the way down. I'm going to bring it up to the, a little bit over two. I might have to tweak that back. I might choose to tweak that back. I want to put the foot so that the needle stops down. You can tell that I've got that float going on because I can very easily get my piece of yarn behind there and there's a lot of room for it to move right here. It's really hard for most people to figure out how to stop and start the stitch and get it exactly finished. So there, the Sashiko 2 has a specialty function on it where if I hit that button twice. Now I have a flashing green light. Flashing green light because I hit my button twice to tell it I wanted to go into specialty stitch mode. So what it's going to do is take one stitch and stop and then one stitch and stop. So even though I can't put a lot of those decorative and uh, really specialty threads through, I'm just going to shorten my stitch length. I forgot to do that. Um, even though I can't take a lot of those specialty stitches and put them through the bobbin case because I can't use anything bigger than a 30 weight, I can still 
really couch stuff onto the top of the machine and have it show it to me that way. So let me show this to you. Up at the top, I had it at five and five. So it looked a little bit different. Down here is where I've got it set at three and three. So I'm gonna get this kind of look. It's really easy. All you have to do is let the machine do the work for you. Let the, let the feed dogs do what the feed dogs are supposed to do and guide the fabric for you. And then you can get this really cool couching look on with, I've got yarn here just cause that's what we had around the store, but you can do it with ribbon. You can do it with other kinds of cording and get a really cool, interesting look. If you really wanna go fancy, you can use the Sasha Go Stitch to go down the middle of a piece of ribbon and attach it on that way. I think that that would look really cool on a little zipper pouch or something like that. You can ruffle with it. And then you can also put that stitch to the edge. And now, I, well, this is a gather. And now I have a ruffle that I can just top stitch onto anything, anywhere. And I've got this cool looking skip stitch up here, which just is another added decorative element. So this is the kind of the, the eye candy part of the Sashiko. Where you really want it, where I use it most of the time, is for quilting. So I just have a quilt sandwich right here. Mm -hmm. Take it out of specialty mode. It's now going to stop with the needle up. Make it stop with the needle down. And we are just going to rock and roll our way down that quilt sandwich. I'm going to make it be uneven now. It, it's a very smart machine, just like the baby lock sergers. It will not sew if you have the foot up. It watches out for itself. But you can do waves. You can do echo quilting. You can quilt, uh, you can outline quilt things. You could even take, uh, draw a line drawing of a quilt block and stitch the line drawing out and do get a kind of a whole cloth type look with it. So with that float function that I have turned on, I don't have to lift up the foot to be able to redirect myself. There's enough float underneath that foot for me to just be able to turn the fabric so I don't need a knee lift or anything, and I don't have to have my hands back there all the time. It's just gonna go and turn, uh, lift it up so that I can pivot the quilt wherever I want to, whenever I want to. So. I think this is the coolest machine ever. Um, I do actually have one of these at home. It's not a machine that I use every day, but it is a machine that I like to use fairly often because I really like the decorative stitch that I get out of it. It's a really interesting stitch, provides a lot of texture and dimension to a lot of the quilts and stuff that I do. I showed you the one, the other two that are back there, the uh, on the back wall are also done with strictly Sashiko stitching. You've got the Dresden plate, the gray one, where I just did huge, big circles around there. And on that one, I varied the color of the thread and the length of the stitches. And on the one to its left with the embroidered skeletons, I did all the quilting with it. So I kind of did some decorative quilting that you could see inside the black squares. And then I just, the rest of it is all straight stitched around the outside. And it gives it, that little kind of pucker that you get off of a hand quilt without it, with you know, without having to run something that was done with the machine through a washing machine to get it to have some of that texture that so many of us like. So Blaine, I bet you that there's some questions. Well, hey Deb, you make that look so easy. Um, I've got a couple questions and Kennedy, if you see some questions up there, you can put them up. But one of the questions I've got, if somebody would wanted to just use it for quilting, it, it, could you use ruler work with that? No, you have to use the feed dogs. It is strictly for 
kind of walking foot quilting. Okay. Um, what I do do though, it, you can do curves and all that stuff with it. I do take chalk line and mark okay. all over mine so I can mark those curves that I want to do. That's how I did the clamshells that I showed earlier. Perfect. So basically this is a, a, a machine that it's, it's replicating hand stitching, uh, for the most part. I mean, I guess that's, that's the closest thing we could say. It's just, it's replicating like what you would do hand stitching and just gives mm -hmm. it everything a unique look. I really love the look of that, that one quilt you did with the round circles. Mm. We have any questions? This one? Oh, no, the one on the wall, the one. I oh, the one on the wall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All that right. So my... one of the questions that's... May Simmons is asking, uh, Deb, it says, will the stitches come out if you pull the thread? The stitches will not come out on their own. However, if you peel the layers apart, then you can get the stitches to unsew themselves. But if you just leave it there, they are naturally locked by the fact that the needle's kind of going in and out and back and forth a little bit. But like anything, if you try and make them come apart, they will come apart. Okay. I'm going to do something. And I'm going to put through the washing machine, though. I probably would uh, knot the tail that I'm going to have on the back and bury okay. it. And uh, Dolly uh, is wanting to see the back. So if we could show the back of what you just did and then let Roger zoom into that. What I have on the back is a straight line of stitching. Okay. And right here is the tails that I would, um, that I would go and bury if it was going to be like an heirloom quilt. Let's see, a lot of people are asking about tension. So yeah. do you have to set so, tension? So uh, Deb, they're asking about tensions. Do you have to set any kind of tension? Really? No. I mean, the bobbin case has got a tension screw on it, but I've never adjusted mine on my machine at home. And I've done everything from quilts to those linen samples. Um, on there and I've never had to adjust my tension at, at all. I know that you might have to if you get bumps on the back because your bobbin's not maybe wound exactly right, then you can go in there and tighten up or loosen up the tension a little bit if you need to, just little tiny quarter turns on the bobbin case. Deb, uh, Linda is asking, can you backstitch? Uh, no, I do not even have a reverse lever on here. You go, you're going in one direction and it's forwards. <laughs> and then uh, Joanne's asking, can you sew sequins or beads? I, with the way that it does the skip stitch in there, I really, I, I wouldn't recommend it just because I don't have an alternate presser foot for here and the needle has to go down through the presser foot and the sequin. And I would, I don't think that I could hit that and do it. I definitely, I mean, it's the pre-done stuff, definitely not. If you're going to hand place beads, try it at your own risk, but I probably wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> and I try well, a lot. <laughs> you know, one of the things I guess, you know, I, and, and, you know, again, we go back to, uh, this machine is it's just a specialty machine. And basically what it's doing, you know, you know, Sashiko stitching is a Japanese stitch. And, you know, it was from the 1600s. And uh, it basically means little stabs, uh, you know, so and it's re referencing to just basically a, a running stitch. So, mm -hmm. you know, what this machine is doing is basically replicating that hand stitching where it's skipping the stitches. But what's great about this is you can adjust the stitch, basically skip and the you know width of the stitch and make it consistent. Whereas hand stitching, you you, you know, it's not always going to be consistent. So this is what this machine does. It's a specialty machine. It only comes with one presser foot. You know, you're not going to be changing feet on it. And it's basically just for going straight, uh, you know, down your quilt, or you can do circles or angles, but you're not going to be able to do free motion. Uh, it is strictly doing that that type of stitch. It's not going to do any other stitches. Other, all you can change is the skip width or skip, I guess, uh, skip length, 
and the stitch whip. Try to say that real fast. <laughs> I'll leave that to you, Blaine. So and, uh, I do have to make everything easier. Um, oh, I have a cool little accessory tray that's tucked into the side right here. But in my cool little accessory tray, I do get the quilt guide bar with it so that you can really easily do your parallel lines of stitching without having to go and mark anything once you get past that first row. And the other thing is there are actually accessories there because this comes out of the of the serger factory. There are some of the serger accessories that will fit it like the belt loop binders. You can use those on here and get some belt loops or some handles or that are going to have that Sasha go skip stitch on there instead of a serger stitch or a just a straight stitch on a sewing machine. Okay. Well, great, Deb. Well, Deb, I know we're going to tell everybody what their special is on it today. And uh, again, while you're getting tranced over, you're going to pull that Accord out and we're going mm -hmm. to start, go come back to you. We're going to demonstrate that Accord. But right now, I'm going to tell everybody exactly how you can get this machine, guys. Again, we've got a show special today on this thing. And this is the Baby Glock Sasha Co. Uh, and this is available online. We can ship it free shipping right to your doorstep. And guys, I can't say enough about this machine. This is one of those machines I've actually sewn on it myself. And I really like how it is. But guys, today, you can it's a call-in special. The normal price is $27.99. Uh, we have a call-in special. Or you can just go to our shopping cart You know, on our website, add it to your shopping cart, and it'll actually give you that special pricing uh, if you do it that way. So it's uh, two ways you can do it. Call in or just go to your shopping cart and add it. And uh, we have online chat agents or on the website can help you. If you have any questions, give us a call at our call center at 800-401-8151. Uh, Nick's team's all standing by over there, going to be on the phones, and, and uh, they can answer any questions you have. But I'm going to tell you a little bit of, you know, a few specs about this machine so you can kind of picture this in your sewing studio at home. But one of the things, the, the machine weighs 27 pounds. It's got a little meat to it. It really does. This thing's got a, a solid metal chassis. It is a great, really well-built machine. It has... Uh, it's to the right of the, the needle, you have nine inches of space there. So it's got a, a pretty big throat space. So that way, if you're wanting to do quilts and get that specially quilt, you know, uh, stitching on there, you'll have room to roll your quilt up in there. Uh, the, the machine depth is 8.75 inches. The width, it's 19 inches wide. And the height is only 13 and a half inches. So it's a longer type machine, but it's not real tall. So you know, that should fit in most people's sewing cabinets as well with no problems. Uh, one of the things on this, it has a one fluorescent lighting, which is right over the needle. So it's going to light up that needle area for you really well, right at that needle plate. You know, the presser foot is a fixed presser foot on it. So you're only going to have that one presser foot. The maximum stitch length on it is five millimeters. Uh, it, you know, it has the, the bobbin winding. It's a standard bobbin winding. It has the accessory storage, which Deb showed you. Uh, the total number of stitches is one. <laughs> I haven't said that in a long time. One stitch, and that is the Sashiko stitch. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, you know, it has the thread cutter on that left side where Deb showed you. You can pull that thread out, and it cuts it right on the side. Uh, the number of feet, it's included. Like I said, you're only going to have one presser foot with this. Number of needles, it only has one needle. And the bobbin size in this is the class 15 bobbin. So, you know, there's not a lot of, uh, you know, specialty things about this other than the stitch. And then, you know, what's really cool about this is, again, is you can, you can adjust that uh, st stitch length and you can adjust that stitch spacing. And that makes it, you can do some really unique things with this. So, uh, you know, that's what's really cool. So you can create that short or long stitch range from a two millimeter all the way up to a five millimeter and the spacing also from a two millimeter to a five millimeter. And uh, again, you know, it uh, has that LED monitor on the front. Deb showed you that, you know, the, you know, it's a unique system that allows you to easily recognize when the needle is creating a stitch or a space. And it also warns you, you know, the pressure foot is not down. So those are some really cool things about this that, you know, a lot of these machines don't have. And this is again, guys, you know, we're duplicating, basically what a uh, hand stitch is. And this is the only machine out on the market of any kind, uh, any brand that has this. 
So this is the ex extremely unique machine from Baby Lock that you can't get any other machine on the market that duplicates that Sashiko stitch. So uh, this is a one-off. So anyway, we're super excited to be able to share it with you today. And I tell you, we had to do some training on all of our, all of our folks too, because again, uh, you know, this is a unique machine and we're just now selling it online. So we actually got Michaela. I said, Michaela, I called her. I said, get on, get out there today. I want y'all to teach everybody on this baby lock and, and get them all, you know, excited about it and understand because people are going to be calling in. So Kyle, can we pull up those security cameras? Let's pull up the security camera and see how that training is going over there at the call center. I'm just baby proofing the office like you said. I said get the office ready for baby lock the company you know the machines. Oh my bad. Get back to work. Yes Blaine. <laughs> Kyle what are we going to do with Michaela? What was she doing? Was she baby was she, the was she at my desk? <laughs> All right so I told her to get everybody ready for baby lock and she was baby proofing the office. Oh. I don't understand. Every week it's Someone something. needs to tell that she, girl. Yeah, we got to get, I think we're going to start writing things down in detail. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, Michaela uh, baby proofed the office, but I don't know if they, she taught them how to do the Sashiko. So, uh, Kennedy, you're going to have to call her and make sure that she knows to get the training done on the, on the baby lock. All right. All right, guys. Well, hey, we are ready to go. We're over there taking your calls right now. If y'all have any uh, you know, questions, give us a call at 800-401-8151 on that Sasha code. Because, again, guys, this is a very unique machine. It's the one of a kind. And uh, we're super excited to be able to present it today. And we've got a great, great pricing special on it today. I can't tell you the price on it because of restrictions from the manufacturer. However, you can call. We'll give you that price on the phone. Or you can just go on the website shop put it in your cart and it'll reflect that great price that we have today normally price is $27.99 we got a great special on today free shipping all the way to your doorstep for free any, anywhere in the United States so can't beat that and then again guys I got to tell y'all real quick we're going to go get ready to go to Deb to the Accord uh, if you want to win prizes today at the show again if you haven't done so so far you know, if you haven't subscribed to our channel on YouTube, go subscribe right now. Subscribe to it. Uh, hit that thumbs up notification and hit the bell. That helps us out. That's going to help you get notifications. And if you're watching today on Facebook, hey, go, you know, make a comment, uh, you know, share it on your page, uh, you know, like our, like our page, and that'll help you enter to win as well today. Uh, but again, if you're watching YouTube, make comments, ask questions as well. That'll enter you to win. All those things will help you win. So uh, again, we're going to have some winning uh, winners at the end of the show today. We're going to give some prizes away, but that's how you win. And that's how you stay notified with things we're doing. So I think Deb is ready back in the classroom. We're going to run back over there and uh, she's got the brand new baby lock Accord. We're going to show you. And guys, this is a great machine. If any of y'all own that out there, chime in in the chat and tell everybody how much you love this machine because it is a great machine and Deb's going to show us all about it. So Deb, you ready to go? I am ready to go, Blaine. We'll take it away. All right, I will. So right here, we have the Baby Lock Accord, which we can just now sell online. And if you're looking for a machine to get started with, this is a really great machine to get started with. It's a combination sewing and embroidery machine. So right now I've got it set up for sewing and I just turned it on. So I'm going to wake it up and say good morning to it and show you that it has lots of stitches in here. There are over 150 stitches that are inside this machine. I actually it might be 250. I don't remember. Um, and but they put them all into nice little categories for me. So 
so I can see that I have my utility stitches here, deco stitches, uh, satin stitches, button stitches, sideways sewing stitches. This machine will sew sideways if you want it to. You can make it sew left or right with either a straight or a zigzag stitch. Um, if you're a quilter that's had done something or doing anything where you're stitching in the ditch and things didn't quite line up perfectly, then instead of having to lift up the presser foot and make that little tug and jog to get over to your next line, you can just come in here and put in a couple of sideways stitches, not have to rotate or spin anything. Also good, um, we've got a guy that puts a lot of patches on things and he likes these sideways stitches for putting patches on because he can have like a a sleeve for a jacket in there and be able to get it with the sideways stitching and not have to turn that sleeve because when it comes to sleeves and pant legs, there's certain directions that you just can't go with it. And then we've got more decorative stitches, satin stitches. There's 10 buttonholes on this machine. And if we go into here, there are actually five sewing alphabets that we have on the baby lock accord. If you can't keep track of all those stitches. And then uh, right up here inside the lid, we have pictures of what every single stitch is so that you can easily find the category that it belongs into so that you can find it on the screen of your machine. I've got, I'm in section one right now and there are six pages of stitches in section one. So it's gonna cut those 200 and something stitches down to less than 50 for me to page through to find the exact stitch that I'm looking for today. Now you've got all your basics on here. I've got a variety of straight stitches with different starts and stops, a triple stitch. Uh, this is the, I call it the lightning mold stitch for doing a straight stitch on garments. You've got your zigzag stitches. I've got my uh, overcasting stitches. They're all pretty much right here. And what you can also see is I have the ability to adjust all of my width length uh, left, right, shift, and tension right here on the panel of the machine. I just hit this little button right here and I can get in and make whatever adjustments that I need to make while I'm sewing. And I can put them right back again so that I've got, I can make the adjustments that I need to make when I'm sewing without having to figure out what kind of dials I need to switch or anything else. And when I want to move them back to standard again, that's very easy because I can just make it go back to where they, I have the black highlight on them and I am back to the basics again. I have an independent motor for the bobbin winder. In addition to that, um, I've got it threaded with gold thread right now. Now I've done everything except the very last step for you. I did not do the very last step for you because I have an amazingly awesome advanced needle threader on this machine. So let me, Put the foot down back here. I have come all the way down to the front of the needle. So if I'm at the front of the needle and go into six and seven and cut it on the thread cutter at the side of the machine, then I'm going to try and come in from the top so I don't block Roger's view. I just threaded the needle. Can you do that again and show the lever? Oh, the lever over here on the side? Yeah. Yeah, you can do that. Okay. So this is the lever on the side of the machine that does all the magic work for me. It's a lever that you have to use confidently. If you are too tentative with it, then it's not going to do its job. But if you are confident with it, then it will thread that needle every single time for you. So no having to use... I mean, I can use any needle threader, but the ones that swing in from the front, I can tell how much caffeine I've had that day because the more caffeine I have had, the longer it takes me to thread those just because my hands are a little bit tense and they're pulling a little bit more. This one doesn't care how much caffeine I've had in the morning. Got that? Mm -hmm. All right. So let me, I'm gonna see what happens here. I do not have the presser foot plugged in right now. What I have is just, uh, so I'm gonna be using the start stop button right here. You can use either or the start stop button or the foot pedal to sew with this machine. 
and put the foot up and put the foot down. Got it? And as I hit the start button, it is going to sew for me. It's at a pretty fast speed right now. I can slow down the maximum speed of the machine to something slower, which is good for when you're doing precision work, free motion quilting, or teaching the kids how to quilt. When I taught my daughter how to quilt, the, she had to do two things when she turned on the machine. The first one was put the speed all the way to the bottom. The second one was she had to engage the needle down stop on it. Those were the two things that she had to do before she started to sew on my machine because uh, most kids are not capable of sewing at 850 stitches per minute. <laughs> And if they do, they get a little bit freaked out, take their hands off the fabric, and then something else entirely happens. So I just kind of put the um, hem or the, the side seam in a pair of jeans right there. So now I am going to refold it again because it slipped. I do have a really good feeding system on here. This is a... Um, they have saved their better feeding system for the top of the line machines, just like they saved their best needle threader for the top of the line machines. But what I have here is, hold on, I don't sew that slow. What we have here is pretty good. I mean, it's gonna kind of jump right up and over those nine layers of fabric. I'm not sure how much my hand was in the way, but. Yeah, we, we missed that. We missed it entirely? Okay, I will do that again for you. Let me get the thread back in the foot, and I will put my hand behind the machine. <laughs> the cords just made a sound over there, and Roger and I just both had the same look at the same time. <laughs> All right, we good? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to hit that start button again. And up, and over, and down. So... Um, and I'm not, I guarantee you, I'm not pulling the fabric back here. I'm just steering. It just, it's an awkward position for me to control the fabric from. So it looked a little bit weird. I have a built-in cutter on this machine because it is a combination sewing and embroidery machine. So I am done. I've got my stitching where I hemmed my pair of jeans right there. I went from three layers to nine layers to three layers of stitching and it walked right through it. Obviously, I've got a white thread in the bobbin for embroidery, not the same that I have in the top, but it walked through those perfectly with just a standard traditional sewing needle in there. And all the rest of the stitches, it will do just as well. I have a little sampler that I made a while ago showing some of the, the pink threads from the Sashiko are everywhere, uh, showing some of the decorative stitches that are available on a lot of the machines just as a, a little, it was a little Valentine's Day project several years ago. I just drew a heart with a friction pen and started filling it in with some of the decorative stitches. It's been bouncing around the floor on the store for quite a while, but I think it's good because it shows a lot of the different things that you can do with the decorative stitches. I mean, there's a couple hundred of them on here and I've quilted entire quilts with decorative stitches. De kids love decorative stitches. You can do use them for hems, for tacking down quilts. You can use them for a lot of different things. But we know a lot about sewing machines. This is a combination sewing and embroidery machine. So I'm going to turn it off, take off the included accessory tray. While I do that, I'm going to show you that it comes with 13 feet, bobbins, screwdrivers, all that good stuff. There's a spot for everything and everything's in its place. So I'm going to put that away. And then this is the embroidery module. You can store it away separately. Okay. And so then this is going to just slide into place. You heard it click. I'm going to turn the machine back on again. And then I'm going to swap out the foot, which maybe I should have done before I put the module on because I have a slightly large screwdriver. There we go. 
I'm going to use the overlift function to make it easier to take off my regular foot. And I am going to slide on my embroidery foot and tighten that guy back up. So it's just as easy as that to switch from sewing mode to embroidery mode with the accord. Okay. Always tighten up your embroidery foot. It's a rule. Don't violate the rule. Now I have a, a full color touch screen on here. Now that I have the embroidery module on, it's going to calibrate itself real quick. Now that the, I have the embroidery module on, the Accord knows that I am in embroidery mode and it has the embroidery options up here for me on the screen. I was, you've got um, 141 embroidery designs built into the machine. In that, in addition to that, you have 140 different frame styles that you can have to put borders around things. And there are 13 alphabets that are built into the machine as well. And we're gonna use one of those in just a second. What I decided to do today was to go into the exclusive screen right here, where you can see they put everything in categories for us. Now these are the 140 designs that are built into the machine. You actually can load anything you want off of the internet. You know, I've got a USB port right here on the right. But what I picked this morning was to go into Kids Corner and I picked this little owl right here. Can you see that, Roger? Okay. What I like about the machine is it keeps me safe. Right here at the top of the screen, I have uh, one hoop, a second hoop, and a third hoop that has a, it's grayed out. That's because this design is 3.25 by 3.76, which means that it will fit in my 5x7 hoop. It will fit in the optional 4x4 hoop, but it will not fit in the optional 1x2.5 inch hoop. So it's telling me right here on the screen what I can put this design into without me having to get all the way into it or think about what my hoop sizes are. I've got multiple pages of designs in here, but I'm happy with my little owl. So I'm going to hit the set button. And now he has come over to my screen. I can position him wherever I would like to with my finger. I tend to find that my finger is good for big movements, but I have a little bit of a problem with precision on that. So that's what the move button is for. Touch that move button. And I can tell you that my owl is not in the middle. He is minus, uh, he's about an inch down and a third of an inch to the left of the center of the hoop. If I want to nudge him around very carefully, then I can hit the up down button, the bottom button and move him. But if I decide that he needs to go back in the middle of the hoop, then that center button is going to drop him right back into the center of the hoop. So big movements with your fingers and fine tuning. It's really easy to do the fine tuning because I've got the move button on here. I have a lot of the rest of the functions you would expect to see. Um, I have an add button down here. That's because I can put multiple designs in there at once. So I'm going to hit the add button, but this time I'm going to pick an alphabet. And I'm going to pick that one. And because it's an owl and I'm feeling kind of punny this morning, we are going to do who with several O's after it. I was thinking that in my head. <laughs> now, the Accord's kind of smart. The message that came up on my screen right now is that the pattern extends to the outside of the embroidery frame. So this is my five by seven hoop. What it just told me was that when I put that last O on there, I got wider than five millimeters. So it says, do you want to cancel or do you want to rotate at 90 degrees? So it's giving me the option of instead of having to start all over again, I can take that design and it's going to rotate at 90 degrees for me and let me continue typing in what I need to type in. So I'm going to say yes, because after the who, I need a question mark. I've got my uppercase and lowercase here, but I have numbers and punctuation in this next tab. So there's my question mark. And now that I'm happy with it all, I can hit the set button. <clears throat> and it was just as easy as that to put a second design in with the first design to personalize it. You could put somebody's name in there. You could do a lot of different things with that. 
you have a really large stitch memory per design. So I challenge anybody to really fill it up. So I've got who in there and it's sideways and it's on top of my owl. So what I'm gonna do first is I am going to go in and hit the size button. All of the fonts that are in the Accord come in three different sizes. Right now it's in the large size because I didn't change it off of the large size font. But with one click, I can change it down to the medium size font. And I could even go to the small size font, but that is smaller than what I want. So I'm gonna stick with the medium size one right there. Because now I know that I can rotate it to the left. And I can rotate, whoop, wrong way. Rotate it to the left. And then I can move it up to the top of the screen. So I can have that off of, I can get that off of the top of the owl. And now I, I've got that done. I kind of want that who to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go back into size. I'm not stuck with large, medium, and small. I can still adjust my sizing off of there. Those are just your three presets really. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. All right, I think, eh, I think it'll want it a little bit bigger. Okay. So now I've got my who in there. You can tell that it's still my chosen option because it's got the red box around it. So anything else that I do, I'm gonna do to this, but I am gonna go into font edit and do a couple of things that I think are really cool to have on a machine that's at this price point. I remember when you this was brand new on the top of the line machines. <laughs> And now you can get it all the way down into the Accords and some of the other machines too. It's the array button right here. This array button is going to let me take that text and put it on a curve. So, and then I can control how much of a curve it's on and adjust it to how I want. So I can make that who come and sit right on top of the owl's head. But I've also decided that that's really not the best font. So instead of having to delete it and go back and choose other fonts, I can just go and hit my font button and I can pick a different font. I don't have to delete it. I don't have to retype it in again. I don't have to go back and leave the screen. I can come into my font button and choose from all of the included fonts that are in the machine and hit the OK button. And now it's changed that font over for me, just as easy as that. Let me hit that OK button one more time. There's a couple of other things we can do here in terms of recoloring designs, but really I am going to go forward to edit end because this is my positioning screen. Before when I had the owl, the owl would fit into my five by seven screen or my four by four hoop. But now that I put the words on there, the four by four hoop is grayed out. So I can only use the five by seven. This is the accord keeping me safe, making sure that I know what size hoop I can fit into and I'm not gonna make a big mistake. I've got the size of the design right here. I've got move buttons. If I move it now, I'm moving everything together because now I'm in the final editing and positioning screen. So they're gonna move as a unit. I'll drop them back into the middle of the hoop right there. I do have a hoop back here that I've already got loaded with fabric. And I'm going to clip that into place. Obviously I hit a button with my elbow when I went across. Sorry, I don't know which one that was. I have the ability to check my positioning on this design before I actually go and stitch it. So when I hit that, I can over here, Roger, I'm going to, it's going to trace out a rectangle that's exactly where that design is going to go. It draws a rectangle around all of the outside of the design so that I can know where it's going to go. I have a plain piece of blue fabric right now, but if I didn't, if I wanted to put this um, centered on a, a pocket or the back of somebody's jean jacket, then that's where this positioning would be, mean a lot to me because I would need to make sure that I'm centered before I start laying down those stitches. 
if I'm doing something very complicated, then I can check just one point at a time. So bottom right corner, bottom left corner. That's where that design is going to go. And if you're wondering why you need that, if anybody has ever tried to put their a name over the top of a pocket on a men's shirt or a work shirt, that's what you're going to use that for. That's going to show you exactly where the bottom of your design is. So you can make sure that you are exactly centered and level over the top of that pocket. From there, it's really super easy. What I've got is I can still just have the largest hoop. It's telling me to put the Q foot on, which I already did for you. 13,000 stitches, 22 minutes, and 10 color changes. I guess I didn't check the color changes before I started this. And I haven't pulled out any of the, the threads or anything for this. But right here, it's telling me the first color that's going to stitch and the next three that are coming behind it so that I can be ready. I can have those threads sitting off to the side, all lined up in a row so I know what's going to come next. And up here in the preview window, it's showing me exactly what that first color is going to stitch. And that is kind of like the gray belly that goes underneath the, on the owl. If I touch on these different colors, I can't check what the other colors are going to be. That's because I do that right here in the needle button. I can skip forward by, I can skip forward, that was going backwards, by a couple hundred stitches. And now I'm still in the same place. Now I, sorry, there's a lot of stitches there. There we go. <laughs> the longer you hold the button, the faster it goes. But now it looks like I am in part of his eyes because there's actually little boxes around his eyes in this preview screen as well, in the big screen as well as in the preview screen. Even though this is a five by seven, it's a smaller size machine, so it's easy to carry around. It still has a lot of those features that are gonna make embroidery so much easier for you as you're going around. To, this is a perfect machine to take to class, especially because it comes with a hardcover. There's not a lot of machines that come with hardcovers these days, but it'll, when you've got the embroidery module off, it's going to set right on the top. So it's going to be super easy to take this machine with you to retreats or to, to classes, wherever you would like to take it to, because there's not a lot of machines that have that anymore. And it comes with the five by seven hoop, which is a standard hoop, that's the hoop that I have on the machine right now. You've got the two optional smaller hoops, but it actually comes with a bigger hoop as well. Sorry, this weighs up. Um, I've got a five by 12 hoop that comes with this machine as well. The Accord has a five by seven embroidery design field. So this is what we call a multi-positional hoop. You're going to stitch the lower half of the design and then reload a design and stitch the upper half of a design. A lot of times you can find designs that are split like this, but that's going to give you a five by 12 embroidery field. You could do, I mean, you, you could do the back of a jean jacket with this. You could do something right at the top. You could, you could do pretty much the whole top border of a tote bag with this bigger five by 12 hoop that you're getting along with the five by seven hoop with the Accord. So I'm going to tell you that this is a, brand new, brand new machine. It has zero embroidery stitches on it. And so I'm going to leave it with zero embroidery stitches on it today, I think. Um, there's a lot of really cool stuff on this machine. I think I've covered a lot of it, but I'm sure there's some questions out there. Okay. Well, thanks, Deb. Hey, so if anybody's got any questions for Deb for the Accord, y'all go ahead and chime in right now and we'll try to get Deb answered for them. And Deb, again, you know, for a mid, I, I always call it a midline, in, you know, embroidery and sewing machine, a combination machine. Uh, you know, this is one of the one of the better machines out there. And for the price point you're getting, you're getting mm -hmm. a lot of bang for your buck, especially, you know, on the sewing side of the house, I think it's 250 stitches you're getting. And then on the embroidery side, you're getting that five by seven frame. So if you're getting some really good features in a very great price machine, aren't you? Yes, you are. Um, we've see, we've got all the machines here in the store. 
And if you can, I always think that a five by seven hoop is the right size hoop to start with. A four by four machine is so easy to grow out of, but a five by seven machine is going to last a lot longer for you because you're going to be able to do some of those larger projects like mug rugs and patches and some of those things that four by four hoops are not are not going to give you the results you're looking for. Hey, Debbie, one of the, I mean, uh, Deb, one of the questions that they're asking, uh, Debbie is asking, uh, how do you wind the bobbin on that machine? Oh, that's easy. Right here, <laughs> I've got my spool of thread. On the top of the machine, I've got guidelines marks to tell me what to do. The solid lines tell me what directions to follow to thread the machine. The dotted lines and numbers are going to tell me how to get to the bobbin winder. So for the bobbin winder, it's going to be through here, back to here, over to the bobbin, push it over, and then I can hit the start button or use the foot pedal to wind the bobbin. It's right up here on top of the machine, and I love that it's got the little dotted lines there to remind me exactly what steps I need to take since I work with so many machines. Sometimes it takes me a second to remind to remember which one's which. All right. Well, thanks, Debs. And Kennedy, is there any other questions you see coming up? Let's see. A lot of people ask me how to wind the bobbin. Okay. Um, do you have to oil? Yes. We, we, you're always going to oil your machine. And Deb, uh, can you talk a little bit about, you know, how much oil should they put on there and, and, and where would they oil it at? Mm -hmm. All right. So let me take my hoop off right here. This right here is where the bobbin goes in. So if I, the only place you have to oil is right underneath here in the race. It's actually very easy to get to. You don't even have to unscrew these screws. This machine's designed that you can pull this off. Go. Pull out the bobbin case and get to the point that needs to be oiled very quickly. That's the only point that you need to oil on the machine. The bobbin case rotates so much in there and there's metal on metal between the hook and the race. So we do need to oil that point of contact, but that's the only place that we need to oil this machine. And it's two seconds to take it off and to put it back on again. So you really don't have to do a lot. Everything else is sealed bearings on here. So take it to the mechanic and let them open it up and check everything once a year. The rest of the time, if you just put a drop of oil in, uh, depending on how often you're embroidering, every couple of days, once a week, then you'll be fine. Okay, Deb, I got a question. Can you use a stylus with the screen? Yes, you can use a stylus with the screen. It's a it's a traditional screen. You can use a hard plastic stylus with it. <laughs> hey, Deb, I'm laughing at the, the question we got up on the screen right now. It says, how many machines does Deb have at her house? Four, five, ten, question mark? <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> I knew you had a My bunch. daughter likes to count that number and throw it back in my face upon occasion. <laughs> she is so yes, not all I can 11 tell of them. Y'all, Deb would actually have more machines if she had room. <laughs> that is true. I have uh I I have a, a when we moved to San Diego, I don't know, a bunch of years ago, my real estate agent had a hard time understanding why a family of 3 required a four bedroom house. <laughs> I yeah. mean, she kept, and uh, she just didn't get it. Now, my husband did, so he was right there. My real estate yeah. agent understood a guest room. <laughs> she could not understand a sewing room, but my husband was standing there right beside me going, no, we need a four-bedroom. Find us a four-bedroom somewhere. That's awesome. All right, Deb, well, we're going to show everybody exactly all about this machine and how y'all can get it today because we've got a great price on this. Again, uh, you guys, the normal price on this is $23.99. We have a fantastic price for you today on this. This is the, the Baby Lock Accord combination machine. And again, guys, you're going to have the, some the great sewing features on it. You have that great embroidery on it as well. And it's that five by seven hoop. But again, give us a call at 800-401-8151 to speak to one of Nick's team members over there. They're on the phones right now. Or you can just add it to the card. If you go on the website and you know go to sewingmachinesplus.com and type in the Accord, at the top of the page in the search bar, it will take you right to that product page. Or you can go to smplive.tv. If you're on smplive.tv, you'll see the Accord uh, machine right there and the Sasha Co. You can click on either one and it takes you right to the product page. 
If you have any questions, we have live chat agents standing by right now that can, you know, uh, chat with you online, or you can just give us the call and Nick's team members being there. Again, the normal price on this is $23.99. And we have a special on it today that you can add it to cart to see that price, or you can just call in. But tell me, let me tell you a little bit about this machine. Now, guys, I'm going to talk a little bit about the embroidery side of the house first, okay? So the embroidery size, it's going to come with 141 embroidery designs, and they include 90 Baby Lock exclusive designs. Uh, you're going to have 140 frame patterns, 13 font styles in upper and lower case uh, are included. You're going to have that extra large block alphabet characters, 32 of those total. You're going to have that exclusive script alphabet characters, 72 of those total. And it uses, again, that 5 by 7 frame is going to be the, lar the maximum embroidery field. Um, it's going to have one megabyte of embroidery pattern storage, which, guys, that's a ton of patterns you can store in this. And then, it, you know, again, it has that, you know, LCD touch screen, and Deb showed you how that was. You can use your finger or a stylus on that, either one. Uh, and, again, on the sewing side of the house on this thing, it comes with 250 built-in stitches, 91 utility stitches, with 10 styles of one-step buttonholes, eight directional feeding stitches, 50 direct decorative stitches, 17 satin stitches, 12 decorative satin stitches, 14 cross stitch, 58 combinable utility stitches, and five alphabet styles. And again, guys, the stitch link on this, it goes from zero millimeters all the way to five millimeter on the sewing stitches. The maximum utility stitch width is seven millimeters. And again, the sewing speed on this is 850 stitches per minute. So you talking about a great little machine. Uh, I don't think you can beat this thing. I, I, this is one of my favorite machines that Baby Lock uh, has for the price point you're getting with all these features that are packed in. And again, it has a great accessory pack. You're going to get 13 presser feet that come with this. You're getting that five by seven embroidery hoop and grid. You're getting that multiple position. And we didn't, and I don't think Deb may have talked about that. I don't remember if she did or not. But it, you get that five by 12 multi-position embroidery hoop and grid. And what that means is you can do split designs in this to actually even get a bigger embroidery area field than the five by seven, which is really great that you can do that. And again, you're getting the, you know, the, uh, the center pin for the pre-wound bobbins. You're getting the horizontal spool pin screwdrivers, you're getting a four bobbins that come with it, uh, bobbin thread, you're getting the eyelet punch, seam ripper, scissors, spool cap, spool net, uh, thread, spool insert, needle set, and the twin needle. And uh, so it just comes packed with a, a ton of stuff with it. And again, guys, we're going to ship this nationwide, absolutely free for you. And uh, so again, you know, y'all looking at that machine up on the screen, that is a beautiful machine from Baby Lock called the Accord. And it is that combination machine, and we're giving that, you know, a great special for you today on that. Now, prices on the Sashiko and the Accord are going to go through all the way through, uh, Kyle, is it Saturday? Friday. 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 So they're going to go all the way through Friday, which is tomorrow, end of day. So they're going to go through till 6 p.m. Pacific time, which is 9 p.m. Eastern time. Those Both of those prices will be good. Uh, so you can go right in and put it in the shopping cart, or you can call in. And once we close, uh, uh, you know, close a business on Friday, those prices will come off. So a great, great special for this, you know, the end of this week for you, and today and tomorrow. And uh, again, guys, I can't say enough about both of those machines. If you want a specialty machine that does a stitch that no other machine in the market can do, that's that Sasha Co. And again, that's that hand Japanese stitch that, you know, it's from the 1600s that it's replicating and it does a great job doing it. And then again, if you've been looking for a great combination machine with the embroidery and sewing and you're wanting a five by seven hoop size, this is a great machine being that Accord. And then it has that split design capabilities that you can do, uh, you know, all the way up to the seven by 12. So a great, great uh, two machines that we're presenting today. And we hope that y'all take advantage of it if you're in the market. And guys, what time is it? It's giveaway time. It is giveaway time. So again, guys, how you give away, you know, get uh, to win prizes, you have to like, share, comment, uh, and uh, subscribe. So 
If you haven't subscribed yet to our, our YouTube page, go subscribe right now. Hit that thumbs up and hit, there's a little bell, hit that bell notification. It'll tell you every time we put a new video up or anything on our, our YouTube page. And if you're watching from uh, Facebook today, hey, just like the video or like our page, uh, like the video today, uh, the, the stream, and you know share it to your own page and then make comments or ask questions and that's gonna enter you to win uh, all those good things. But we got some great prizes today. And first mm -hmm. up is we're gonna give our bag bundle away. Is that our right, Kennedy? Bag? All okay. right, so everybody love. Oh, I got to tell you too. Oh. You know me. You know me. Came to California out here, and guess what she had with her? Did she have a bag? She had one of our bags, and she brought her bag out. And actually, she had the orange one that matched her outfit that she was in. See, you have to coordinate. So she coordinated, and she told me she coordinates her outfits with her bags, and she she always carries them. So you know me, you're the best. So you know me, we love that, and that was awesome, but. These bags, guys, they sell for $49.99 on our website for the pack of eight, or they sell for $9.99 individually. But we're giving a whole bundle away today for free. They all have unique sayings on them. And then on one side, we have our, our information, uh, Soul Machines Plus website, phone number, and all that. But on the other side, they have all these unique, really cool sayings. One of them says, I, I like big hoops and I cannot lie. Mm -hmm. So that was one of my favorite ones. And we have that. So we're going to give that away. So, Kennedy, are you ready to spin I that wheel? Am ready all right spin that wheel. spin it let's spin. do it okay we need some spinning music we do need some spinning music <laughs> see i i'm not good enough i'm not good enough. <laughs> Harbot. 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 so our winner is watching today from youtube and that is harbot congratulations and harbot just go to smplive.tv scroll down toward the bottom of the page and there is a little form you fill out it's called claim your prize fill out the information hit submit and we'll handle it from there so mm -hmm. congratulations let's give one more bundle away kennedy one so more. spin that wheel again okay right. here we go everybody needs bags they do just, you can essential. you you can store fabric in them shopping, you can go to the grocery, grocery store shopping. kathleen queen so kathleen queen you are a winner she's watching today from youtube as well so Kathleen, make sure you go to our smplive.tv page uh, and just type that in your, your uh, navigation bar at the top. It'll take you right to that product page to scroll to the bottom where you claim your prize, fill out the information, hit submit, and we'll get it from there. We All right. Rain. So next up, we're going to give one of our world famous sewing mats away. Now, guys, I always say this every show. Kyle, is, how important is it to have a sewing mat? You have to have one. No Guys, there's no reason. You're right, Kyle. These things, I've got the Baby Lock colored one right here in front of me. They serve a purpose, everybody. They serve a great purpose. Y'all spend so much money and a huge investment in your equipment, your sewing machines, and sergers, and all the embroidery machines. You need to protect it. And what this does, when this sits on here, it reduces the vibration from the machine, which doesn't transfer it to the electronics and cause it the life to shorten. It also dampens the noise. So just for, you know, you want to watch TV or listen to radio while you're sewing, it's not going to disturb anybody. And then whatever surface you have that machine sitting on, it protects that surface. So you wouldn't scratch your countertop you or your nice arrow cabinet. Or yeah. dining room table. Think or about people that table. don't have cabinets. It will, you know, and then the third, the fourth thing that it does, it's anti-slip. Look at this. I cannot push this on here. I'm shaking the whole counter because it's, it sticks. And when the machine's sitting on here, the machine does, it grips this and doesn't slide. So it is a great, great investment for you. And guys, every single one of these, every size are under $50, $49 for the large ones. I think 44 for some of the smaller ones, uh, but they are extremely, it's a, that's a, a Kennedy, that is an extremely cheap insurance policy mm -hmm. for your machine, I feel like. One time. One yeah. Time and, and even cooler, they look so cool. All those great colors. And we have gorgeous colors. I use yes. mine as a pin cushion. Yep. So, so anyway, today we're going to give one of these away to a lucky winner. We have 12 different mats to choose from, different colors, four different sizes. So just when you go to smplive.tv, you can see the mats. Click on that. It'll take you to all the mat pages. The category page, you can look at the size to get the dimensions for you so we will know which one to pick. And then you get to see all the colors. So we're going to give one of these away right now. So Kennedy, spin that wheel for us. 
And if you don't win today, get on there and order one of these bats today. Mm -hmm. And Maris. And Maris. Congratulations. She's watching also from YouTube today. So congratulations, Ann. Uh, and go to our smplive.tv page. Uh, when you go to that, it'll scroll down toward the bottom of the page and it will, uh, you know, show you where you claim your price. Now, I got to tell y'all, when I, uh, somebody sent me an email the other day and they said, I looked all over your website and I couldn't find the smplive.tv page. When we say go to the smplive.tv, that's actually a website that connects you to a product page on our website, the, S, the sewingmachinesplus.com. So I, I, I know I may be confusing people, but when, you, when I say go to smplive.tv, just go in your navigation bar and do the www.smplive.tv. So it's not a .com, it's a .tv. That'll take you right to these pages we're talking about. So, all right, we got one winner down. Let's give one more sewing mat away, Kennedy. So spin that wheel again. I see some familiar names popping up. Mm -hmm. I see Vinica on there. Yeah, I saw Vinny's name pop up. Look, Claire Kelly just won watching today from YouTube. So congratulations, Claire. Uh, uh, Claire. Uh, go to our smplive.tv page, scroll down toward the bottom of that page. You'll have an area where you can claim your prize and make sure you tell us the size of mat you want and the color, okay? Fill it out one time, one time. Yep, fill it out once and send it in and we got it. All right. Perfect. So next up, then? we're going to give the sewing machine. Is it a sewing machine we, we gave away from, from last, last week's show? Yes. Baby Like Joy, right? So last week we gave, a, so here's how this works, guys. We give pretty much two machines away. We're giving a machine away today live on the show, but we're giving away one from last week's taping, I guess you would say. So. After the live show, every single day, they get posted on Facebook and YouTube, and it's like a video. So you can just go watch it later on, and it won't be a live stream. But it has the areas under the videos that you can make comments or ask questions. So if you go do that, you're gonna actually have an extra chance to win when you do that. So just go make comments on the videos today after it's closed, and you'll have a chance to win something we're gonna give away for next week. But today, we're going to give up that baby lock joy for our winner from last week's show. And who's that name, Kennedy? That name is... There it is. Sula May. Sula May. Watching from Facebook. So congratulations, Sue. You just won yourself a baby lock joy sewing machine. What a great prize. And so, Sue, uh, go to smplive.tv, that webpage, and down toward the bottom of that page, just go down and, and hit, you know, claim your prize, fill out the information, hit submit, and we'll get that. Well, as soon as we get it, we'll get your machine shipped out to you. So how's that? All right. So today we're giving another Baby Lock Joy away. And uh, guys, again, we're going to give it to somebody through the spin the wheel. And the only way you get your name in the spin the wheel is by making comments, asking questions, sharing the videos on YouTube and Facebook, all the things I talked about. That's how you get your name in there. And the more things you do, the more participation, the more your chances are. So Kennedy, mm -hmm. you got that wheel greased up? I do. All right, let's spin it. Yeah. Wrong name. You have to take her down. Oh. Hey, we won. Yay, we won. Hey. Just Finally yay. won something. I finally won something, Kennedy. I mean, I'm so happy for your blame, but Thank it's you. not how it works. I can't win that. No. All right. Let's spin again. Let's spin it again. You silly. <laughs> Here we go. Moment. Marcel Hamrick. Marcel Hamrick. Watching today from Facebook. She is our grand prize winner of the day. So congratulations, Marcella. And so, Marcella, what we need you to do is go to smplive.tv, go to that, that website, uh, scroll down to the very bottom of the page, you'll see where it says claim my prize, fill out the information, hit submit, and as soon as we get it in, we will ship your machine right out to you. So, congratulations to all of our winners today. And again, guys, remember, you gotta go like, share, comment, and subscribe. YouTube or Facebook, that's how you do it. That's always going to get you notified of all the things we got going, which we have a ton of things going. And again, guys, I'll remind you about our week or daily shows that we do. We're on 
you know, SMP is the place to be at 10 a.m. every single day of the week. We're going to be on YouTube or Facebook. We're actually going to be streaming live. We have a show every single day. Uh, Monday, it's called the, uh, what's our show called? So Club. So Club. <laughs> so Mondays are So Club at He's 10 a.m. Kennedy is hosting all these other shows. And then Tuesday is Takeover Tuesday. We always have somebody come in and basically just take over our studio. And uh, that is a, always a great show. Wednesday is Stitch Nation. You don't want to miss that. And then Thursday is our the sewing show. The Sew Show, SMP Live with a, me and the whole gang. And then Friday, uh, you can't you won't miss that. It's called Tea Time, and that stands for Tools, Tips, and Techniques. And we're always going to have somebody great on. And who's our guest tomorrow, Kennedy? Amanda Carita from um, So So. So Amanda Carita from So So English is going to be on the show tomorrow. So y'all don't want to miss Kennedy's show tomorrow, 10 a.m. Uh, you know Pacific time, 12 p.m. Central time. Make sure y'all tune in. And again, I am going to be leaving Saturday. I'm uh, going to go, me and Deb and Corey, the store manager from uh, the uh, San Marcos store. We're going to be leaving in uh, Saturday, going to St. Louis, Missouri, going to the Baby Lock convention. So we're going to see all the great things at Baby Lock. So when I, next week, when I come back, you know, we'll be able to share some of that with you. And then we got SoFest, I mean, right around the corner, guys, September the 12th through the 16th. And then guess what I'm doing? What are you doing? I'm going on vacation the Woo -hoo. day after SoFest. Woo -hoo. Going on a cruise with my wife, Michelle, and I are going to Mexico. Ooh, so, arriba. First vacation in three years. My goodness. So I'm ready to go. Deserve so, it. <laughs> so I'll bring y'all back a sombrero or something and, and uh, we'll have some fun. But guys, thank y'all so much for watching our shows and we sure do appreciate it. Sure do appreciate y'all being an SMP customer. And again, the SMP Nation is growing out there. We love that you're a part of it. Share it, share it with your friends. Get them to come and join our group because we love having y'all here. And we hope that you have a great rest, rest of your week. We hope you join in for Kennedy's show tomorrow at 10 a.m. And I will see y'all, I guess, next Thursday. Y'all have a great, great rest of your week. Bye.